I'm going to quickly talk about class inheritance today. So, class inheritance, what is it? Let's say you make a class, okay? It could be any class. So we'll make the class any class, yeah? We define an initialization. So, dot, 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 init, dot, 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 init, self, name, value, okay? And we define some attributes. So, name is equal to name, value is equal to value, blah, blah, blah. So now we have a class which is called any class, right? We'll define one method in it. So we'll define get name. Okay. You could actually define more methods. You know, I could show you all kinds of cool things you could do with methods in here, but that's not the purpose of this at all. Oops, I need to return that, not just have it there. Now, I'm not going to show you that was a method, anything like this. We're just going to leave the class, you know, just with one getter method and just an initialization. Right. So let's say I make an object of class any class. So we'll call it a obj, meaning any object. Okay. We'll use the any class initializer here, or constructor, should I say. We'll give it a name. We'll call it an obj. And we'll give it a value of 92. Okay. We'll test the getter. So we'll say a obj dot get name just to make sure that it's working. Now let's imagine that we want to make a new class that is exactly the same as this class. Um, you know, it has the exact same attributes and it has this get name function um, but we want to add a, a few things to that class and we want to keep the classes separate but we want the second class to be based on this first class here and we want to add to this first class in the second class or keeping this the same right there is a way to do that in python so we can use the keyword class and then we'll define a class called any class two and you can actually use an argument and the only thing you can use in as an argument is another class okay now when you use a class here inside of an argument for a class yeah you're saying i want this class that i'm creating to inherit everything from this class that i'm using as an argument so essentially this class will get all of this inside of here okay but we won't see it we don't need to copy and paste this for that to be in here we just put this argument in and that class gets all of this from the class that it asked to get it from right in addition we can define new uh, new, new functions so we'll say i don't know print underscore cool self and we just print cool not a particularly useful function but you know it's a function nonetheless so we've got that can we use this to print cool so we're going to say obj2 equals any class 2 da -da 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 -da. name will be david value will be 76 all right now, if this works, what that shows is that this initialization has been passed into this class. Okay. And it has worked, you know, it has worked. So you can see that this constructor for the old class, the any class has been passed on to the any class two uh, class, but you can't see it within the class, but it does exist. Okay. Now let's see if we can use this new print cool method so dot print underscore cool like that simple it does i don't know why it's saying that need to run all of this probably what i'm not really understanding that at all why does it keep doing that 
Ah, it's because I'm using any class. That's why. I need to use it on the variable. Sorry about that. There we go. So print cool. What what happened there? Why it didn't work? Is because I was using any class, and I was using any class dot met dot function. That doesn't work. I actually need to use the function on an object of any of type any class two, an object two or object two is of type any class two. So that's why that wasn't working there. Apologies for that. Now let's see as well if we've inherited the I don't know the get name method, All right? So here's get name, and let's see if it works. It should return the name David, right? And it has. It returned the name David. So this all works, right? Now, is this different to the first class? Is sorry, is is uh, the second class different to the first class? Yes, and I'll show you why. This print cool method cannot be used with the first class because it's not been defined in the first class this has all been defined and added to this class via inheritance here but this is only included in the second class but not the first class the first class is what's known as a parent and the second class is what's known as a child this is the parent of this child Okay, and the child inherits everything from the parent, but the parent does not inherit from the child. The parent can't get from the child in that same way. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, print cool doesn't work with the first class because it can't inherit. There's no backwards inheritance, but all of the methods and the attributes of the first class have been transferred to the second class. It's that simple. That's that's all inheritance is about. I'll make uh, I'll make another example. We'll say class um, reptile, right? And we'll define the initialization as we'll give a reptile name. So we'll give name uh, legs and can swim, right? So, in this class, to give you a uh, useful example, self.name is equal to name, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you can predict what this is all going to be about. Okay. Self.legs, sorry, is equal to legs and self.can swim is equal to can swim. Simple, right? Simple, very simple. Um, we'll put a get a method. We'll call it get all. So define get all self, and we'll say print name. Then we'll add string of name plus uh, I think it's that slash in I can't remember if it's that slash in or the other one cannot remember don't care massively plus legs this backslash in should make a new line character, but I can't remember how well it works, to be honest with you. Not massively interested. Doesn't matter if uh, the text isn't correct. You know, it's not the end of the world. And for the purposes of this demonstration, it's not massively important anyway. We're just making a get method that can get everything. Right. This reptile class. I think that's all right. I'm not sure. Let's just see if it gives me an error. It doesn't, so it's fine. Undefined name, undefined. Ah, self. That's why. Self dot name. Self dot that. 
myself got that. Okay, that's fine now. Yeah. So I'll just run that again. It's not undefined at all. Now then, let's make a reptile, shall we? And let's test the get all. So we'll say, I don't know, lizard one equals reptile. And we'll say its name is, I don't know, got four legs, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure iguanas could swim, but you know, I might not be correct on that. But let's just let's just assume that they can swim for now, right? Let's just pretend that they can swim. Now, we get lizard one dot get all. Um, we're just going to test it. We're just going to see that it works. I hope it does. Has no... Can swim? Um, no, it doesn't. You're right. It doesn't have a can swim. There. See that? Just a small textual error. Unexpected EOF. How? Oh, it's for this bloody thing. All right, that should work now. Paste the file. Oh, right. So this should get all anyway. Right. And it returns the name iguana. It returns the amount of it returns the amount of legs uh, that there are, and it also returns the status of can swim, whether it's true or false. Okay. So we got our get all method. But let's say um, I don't know. We want a specific uh, type of I don't know, type of uh, reptile, right? So we'll say class um, lizard, okay? We use reptile as the thing. Maybe we can define the init as Self, as per usual. Okay. Or maybe let's not define the inner. Maybe we want to just define. Just define, yeah. What I am. I just use self there. And all that does is print out this animal is a lizard okay it might be helpful for us to know that right so this animal is a lizard we inherit the uh the actual constructor so we'll make a lizard we'll call it lizard 2 and it's equal to lizard and we'll say it's an iguana Four legs, can swim, and just to uh, make sure the get all method works, we'll try it out. And we'll try out this new method that we've made, the lizard2 dot what I am. So, let's run all that, shall we? Now, let's run lizard2. Let's get all for lizard2. So you can see it's inherited the get all method. And let's check what it is. This animal is a lizard. And that's it. It's as simple as that inheritance. Um, there's a lot more to it, but as this is uh, just the basics, that's more or less all there is to it. There, there, is, there is more stuff, but as far as the basics go, that more or less has you covered and just you know just remember that rather than copying and pasting endlessly uh, i mean imagine if your class has three four hundred lines it's a very big class instead of copying and pasting that all you've got to do is you know put in the class as the argument of the second class you want to produce and then you don't have to copy and paste all that code or maybe all that code's in another file you got to import it you know it's difficult to do so 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 just keep in mind that and yeah if you ever want to use inheritance now you know how to thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed that